Luke Cunningham here from endearment.com, bringing you the latest pant in the Kuyu lineup, the Pro Brush Pant. This pant was designed with 100% polyester using a PrimeFlex four-way stretch upper. Uh, it's gonna allow you to just have that maneuverability uh, when you're in the back country, if you're going on um, any rough terrain, anything like that, that you're gonna be climbing, getting your legs up um, higher than just your standard walking. Uh, this is gonna be very comfortable. What could you also use is a high density double weave to reinforce the panels. Um, this made the pant, anything that is brush facing in this pant, um, it's gonna make it highly durable, uh, pick resistant when you're washing, walking by thorns, uh, broken branches, things like that. Anything that might puncture the pant um, or snag on it, um, it's gonna protect you. Kuyu only used one panel uh, when making these pants. Um, a lot of your other uh, pants that are marketed as a brush pant go with two panels uh, when they make their pant just to give it that durability. Um, with Kuyu only going with one, uh, they were able to get this pant down to 19.6 ounces. Uh, so it's fairly light, it's perfect. So what Kuyu did, um, they use a durable water repellent. Um, they're KWR, if you're looking on our website, you might say KWR, what is that? It's durable water repellent. Uh, what that's gonna do, if you are caught out in a light rain, light snow, um, when the precipitation um, hits the outer layer, it's gonna form little beads and roll off. Um, so it's not gonna allow that to penetrate the outer layer, um, so it's gonna keep you dry. Uh, they also put a max spec odor control, just good to have on your pant. Um, there's a lot of other aftermarket um, odor controls. A lot of people are probably still gonna use. There's just gonna be an um, extra layer of protection on there. All right, stock of these pants um, come with a pair of Kuyu suspenders. Um, they attach front and back, um, so they're pretty easy. You have two in front, two in back, uh, just two loops. You wanna take them off, you just grab one, slide. Uh, you wanna put them back on, so you wash them, take them off, something like that. Uh, you just hook it back on there, done. Uh, it's pretty, pretty quick and painless. Um, it's up to you if you want to wear them. Uh, you do have oversized belt loops still, um, so it'll accommodate um, numerous belts uh, they may have out in the field. Um, like most Kuyu pants, YKK zippers um, on everything. Uh, one thing that I want to show you is the, the size of these zippers. Um, they're a little bit smaller um, than some of the others. Um, here is your uh, zipper on the front cargo pocket. As you can see, it's pretty tiny um, in terms of some of the other ones. For example, here is the Kuyu Axis pant. Um, here are my zippers on this one. So they're a little bit bigger um, actual zipper portion on these, but it still comes with a pull string. Um, you're not actually grabbing. I found those to be good. Um, sometimes when I'm walking, uh, if I have a little bit bigger zipper, I may catch it with my thumb or something. Um, so having a smaller zipper has actually been pretty great for those pants. Uh, one thing that I added to these pants, um, like some of the other ones, my Axis, they've got the outer thigh vent uh, for when it's running pretty hot. Could you added that same vent to the inside as well? Uh, so you've got four vents total on this pant, one on each side of the leg, and I found it to be great. Uh, I wore these for the first time early April, um, scouting pre spring turkeys here in Colorado. Got a little hot. It was in the teens when we started off that morning. Had about eight miles to hike um, for scouting for some stuff on some public land, and I got hot uh, real quick. Um, found all the zippers, um, got it down, really cooled me off. That said, I do run hot. Um, that may not be the case for you uh, wearing these pants. Um, with the temperature though, I probably would call these more of a mid-season pant, um, either early spring or maybe that late October, um, mid to late October, uh, possibly into November pant, depending on where you're hunting. Um, if it's going to be later season, um, late November, uh, say I'm hunting, you know, fourth, third, fourth rifle here in Colorado, depending on the unit, I'm going to switch to my axis um, just because they do have that fleece lining. Lastly, these pants come in the uh, five colors. Um, they're a little bit different. They're not a full color pant. Um, they will be if you get them in the gunmetal like this one or the ash. It's going to be the same color all the way through. Uh, if you go with the Valo, um, you're going to have Valo up front. Um, it's going to kind of come down to where that cargo pocket is, maybe a little bit lower. And it's going to come down kind of about calf area in the back. Um, the rest of the front and the lower part of the back um, is going to have the 
ash um, color to the pant. Uh, if you go with the Vias or the Verde, you're gonna have the gunmetal. Um, it's gonna be the same, um, longer on the back. Um, you're gonna have a little bit in the front, uh, but you're gonna have the main camo up top and then the solid either gunmetal or ash um, on the bottom. While I'm talking about the bottom, last thing I wanna do is show you this. Uh, can you put in a boot lace hook? Um, so if you're worried about your pants riding up, um, maybe something snagging uh, because of that, it's gonna keep them in place. Uh, just after you get them on, get your boots laced up, hook it around that lace, um, it's gonna keep you. Uh, these pants come at 200 bucks, uh, MSRP, highly worth it. Uh, really durable pant, comfortable. Um, you know, if you're sitting there glassing on sharp rocks, if you're working uh, through some brush, trying to track that game, highly recommend it, get you a pair.